by Wiggins. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Horford back in the game, sets the screen. They jump a team, double team. He gets it away to Horford. Horford attacks a lot for Rob Williams. Two hands slam. That was nice. Tower to tower, man. A huge win for the Celtics inside of TD Garden here in Boston. A look at fans as they flood outside of the arena celebrating this big win in game three of the NBA Finals against the Warriors, protecting that home court right here in Boston. Welcome to Celtics Post Game Live, presented by New England Ford dealers and Ford trucks. Perk Scal, Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you, and the Celtics dominate the Warriors in Game 3 of the NBA Finals, 116 to 100, and Jalen Brown set the tone in the beginning, and Perk, the rest of the guys, they fell right in line, and they set the tone. They really came out explosive in this game. Well, 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 can we start here right for a second? How can Draymond Green do all the things he did in game two, talked all the noise he talked up coming to this game and not do a damn thing in the game. <laughs> to me, he was preparing more for his post-game podcast than he actually was ready for the game. What was he? See, one thing about it, I'm not afraid of Draymond Green. I'm going to speak my mind when it comes down to him. And he was non-existent. He poked the bell, who was Jalen Brown, and then he didn't help his team fight the bell. That was the key tonight. Yeah, Jalen Brown, you talked about the start. He was jawing when Draymond Green went right by him with a left-hand layup. Yeah, he probably should have gave him the too little. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, you're right. Jason Tatum in the fourth quarter sort of put the team on his back. And Marcus Smart making big shots, making big plays. I think the thing that I, I liked the most was they were picking on Steph Curry. And whenever they got an opportunity to go right at him, they went at him. And one thing I liked about what Al Horford did, right, whenever he got anybody small on him, he went right to the basket and finished. And he was using bully ball tactics. He wasn't just going up soft. He was using his big body against a smaller defender and getting to the rim. I like how we didn't settle. At times we did, but for the most part, when we kept attacking, and it did not settle, we were successful and got whatever we wanted. Perk, you talk about Draymond Green being a little bit more focused on the podcast and the things going on around the game yeah. except for the game plan. And you know what? I think the Celtics, they heard all of that and they responded in this matchup. They got aggressive. Jalen Brown came out there and he let them know he was a dog too. You know what? And, and when, when you see a team like the Celtics respond the way that they do, that's a reflection of the coach. I watch Ime Udoka, and it's no funny games with him. Like, he's strictly about that life. And so when I see the carry on to the players on the floor, I'm like, hell yeah. But Jalen Brown set the tone. For early. sure. Marcus Smart was the X factor, the third best player tonight on the Celtics, which he got to be. I think he's the biggest X factor in this series. If he, if he comes to compete every single night, and have good games. The Celtics are going to win this in six or five. Celtics prove that they can play a lot of different styles against the Warriors. You heard, you heard Eddie House talking about going with Al Horford when he had the mismatch. They attacked Steph Curry. They played fast with Jalen Brown. They did well in the half court. Pretty, I mean, they had one little lull there in the third outside of that. Pretty flawless game for the season. I want to see them continue to do this. Don't you try to hide from me. <laughs> Don't you try to hide from me. I know where you know. Come over here and come and get some. And now we're going to put you in rotation. Because you see what they were doing after they started getting to the basket and getting easy buckets, what they started doing, doubling quick. And then it was a quick pass. You made the right pass. You made the right read. Then all of a sudden they in rotation. And again, a guy closing out that's not a great one-on-one -on -one defender to guys who can beat you off the dribble, make plays for themselves, and make plays for others. But, I mean, I, I, I tell you what, outside of Kevin Durant, being 6'10 and, and being a versatile scorer, a guy that can get downhill to the basket, is Jason Tatum. And he did that tonight. So many times I'm yelling, I'm saying, don't settle. And he didn't. He kept putting his shoulder down, getting to the right side of that basket, and finishing with great fashion. And you talk about Jason Tatum, 26 points, six rebounds, and seven assists. Let's take a look at some of his highlights. It's presented by Shaw's Perfecting the Art of Fresh. And, you know, Jason Tatum started out this matchup a little bit cold, but Scal, he found his rhythm and 
and really impacted the game all around in every single phase. Just what Perk just said about the body. He was getting downhill, putting guys on his shoulders, going right through them, finishing at the rim. Mm -hmm. Perk has said it. Eddie House has said it. I said it. We love Jason Tatum when he gets on downhill, when he's attacking. When he's attacking at his size and skill set, and he's a real hard guy to stop. Y'all, we know the saying, it ain't about how you start, it's about how you finish. And he finished extremely strong. No matter what, he kept attacking. And that was the most important thing is he never settled. He settled a couple shots, and I think maybe the coaching staff or his teammates got into his ear and was like, man, you better get down here. Yep. Can't nobody stop you. And I think he listened to that advice, and he took it to, to heart, and he went down there, yeah. and, and he did it. And you know what else? Robert Williams looked healthier tonight. Sure. And that's the benefit of being home, being able to go to your practice facility, getting those cold tubs, being able to benefit from your equipment. I think it did wonders for him. He looked a whole lot better than he did in one and two. He did wonders for this game. I mean, he for came sure. up with 50-50 loose balls. He got block shots, all the big-time, hard, aggressive rebounds. Who was coming up with him? Rob Williams. Yeah, and our defense doesn't break down very often, but a couple times it did. Rob Williams was right there. Oh, yes, he yeah, was. he was hustling all over the court tonight. And Jalen Brown, 17 points at the half, finished with 27 tonight in game three. We talked about how he set the tone for this matchup. But, Scal, I remember us talking about how this could be the Jalen Brown series. He showed up in game three. No question. The Warriors are focusing on, on Jason Tatum. Brown has taken that challenge. Almost like y'all disrespected me, playing me one-on-one -on -one with Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. I'm out here cooking, chopping you up, getting to the basket, inside out. This is the best version of Jalen Brown. What did you like, Eddie, about watching Jalen Brown tonight and how he was able to kind of put this team on his back to start this matchup? That he was not scared. Yeah. He was not scared of the moment. He wasn't scared of Draymond. He wasn't scared of the Warriors. And he was coming out to play. No matter what, he was getting downhill. It didn't matter who was in front of him. He was getting downhill. And I also like the fact that he didn't force a lot of shots. A lot of times in game two, he came down and was trying to do these fadeaway jumpers. He got into his bag, and when he didn't have it, he reverse pivot and kicked it out, made the play, got it back, and then went to work. That's what I liked about him, his patience. I love his patience. I loved everything about his game. I love that he picked and chose at times, like cutting out of those corners and away from those wings. I thought that meant everything. We saw the Jalen Brown that was holding spots, waiting for the ball to get swung to him and knock down threes. I saw a Jalen Brown that was cutting, getting back door yeah. cuts, snatching the screws out the rim. I saw the Jalen Brown chasing down, chasing down. Hey, let's let them talk. Here we go. That's, <laughs> That's the energy. Yeah, That's the energy. That we fans have for Draymond Green this and Sonatini and Royce and Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> Draymond started chirping from the beginning. How were you guys able to contain what he was doing, but also yeah, stick to your own, as you may call it, stick to your own character? Yeah, we left it alone. Honestly, um, if you don't respond, empty ears, you know? Uh, so it was quiet as mouse piss on cotton out there when we started winning. So uh, we're trying to keep it, just keep our heads. Um, me and him can get into it if anything, but everybody else told him to keep their head down, let me do a thing. I ask you guys this all the time, but what was said amongst yourselves after the Warriors took the lead and Al was called for that flagrant? Yeah, it was one of those things where we, we knew what, what we needed to do, take care of the ball, um, simple and plain. They're going to make their runs. They're a team that can hit 20, 20 points in like two seconds, so you have to be prepared for that, and you just can't get too overwhelmed by it. You just have to keep a level head, understand you're doing exactly what you need to do. Sometimes shots will fall, sometimes shots won't, but keep continuing to do the right thing. Grant, what is it about you guys? You have not dropped back-to-back -back games in this postseason? Honestly, it's just about resiliency. Um, we're a team full of guys that ultimate competitors. Um, we have ultimate trust in one another, and we're going to respond whenever we get hit in the mouth. So we got to go do a better job of striking first, too. So we have to do our job and not let the win. You know, sometimes when we win, we don't get the next one. We got to focus on this next game. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Greg.